Hi, I'm Alex Bosco. And I'm Starla Simpaco, and we're your producers for The Daily's Double Shot. To start off this episode, our reporter, Charles Johnson, gives us a profile on UW basketball player Marquise Chris. And later, our reporter, Abhishek Sugam, takes us to UW's Dance Marathon. We've got all that and more on this episode of The Daily's Double Shot. I'm Alex Bosco. I'm Olivia Fuller, and this is The Daily's Double Shot. Hey, I'm Charles, and I worked with the sports editor here at The Daily. We did a character profile on one of the UW basketball team members, uh, Chris Marquise. He didn't start playing organized basketball until his freshman year of high school. You can check out the video now, but check out the full story at UW Daily Sports. I never really liked basketball that much until I got older. I, I used to want to play football, and then uh, I got hurt in eighth grade, so then my mom was like, I can't play anymore. <laughs> what, what'd you do? I broke my collarbone. So then she was like, all right, you can play basketball, but you can't play football. summer because I'm super competitive so it's like when I'm in an environment like this where everybody wants to win it's kind of like it brings the competitiveness out of me. I think that it wasn't really like much of a change because I've always been like that I just kind of have to bring it out sometimes. Hi I'm Chitani Robinson. This past weekend I went down to the Arboretum to check out a class called Introduction to Mosses taught by the UW Adult Education Program. I hope you enjoy. I'm Jessica Farmer and I work as the Adult Education Supervisor for University of Washington Botanic Gardens. The goals of our education programs are to provide meaningful experiences to help connect people to plants in the natural wor world. And so we try and provide a lot of great science-based education. And this class today is called Introduction to Mosses. It's taught by Lee Ellis who works with the Moss Collection at the Burke Museum. And she's um, starting in the morning with a um, PowerPoint presentation to introduce people to all kinds of different species of mosses and um, their structures and functions. And then um, the class will go out into a walk through the Arboretum to find mosses uh, on our grounds and, and see what they can see out, out in nature. I'm Lee Ellis and I'm a, a volunteer at the University of Washington Aquarium and I manage the Bright Moss Collection. And I became interested in mosses when I moved to Seattle in the 1970s, uh, when I'm trying to introduce people to the beautiful diversity of mosses in the Pacific Northwest. We have about 500 species in Washington, and there are a lot of them that are easy to identify uh, and are quite beautiful. A lot of people in our region, Pacific Northwest, really love plants and nature, and so this provides an opportunity for us to connect the University of Washington and the great science uh, scientists and um, both students and instructors that we have here um, to provide that expertise to the public and also show our great plant collections and use that as a teaching tool um, on our botanic garden sites. The main goals of the botanic gardens is to prov provide value to students and um, really to enrich the lives of both UW students and the public. Hi, I'm Abhishek Sugam from The Daily, and I'm covering the dance marathon benefiting Seattle children's. Go check it out. senior here at 
at UW, um, and I'm also one of the executive directors of Dance Marathon. Dance Marathon is an event that originated on the uh, on the East Coast at Indiana University because of a boy named Ryan White. He was diagnosed with HIV AIDS because of uh, bad blood transfusion, and because of him, they started a memorial event that has spread nationwide. Um, all of the money that we raise today goes towards Seattle Children's, but as a, on a broader sense, it goes towards Children's Miracle Network. All the money goes towards the Uncompensated Care Fund, as well as cancer research at the hospital, as well as researching a whole bunch of other types of awful diseases that need to be cured. Um, the purpose behind our event is to just stand for the kids that can't and just have a good time and party for a purpose. Um, it's really fun, and I hope you enjoy. And I'm Marie, and I'm the University Advisor for the Dance Marathon Exec Board. Basically, the the point of dance marathon, like being here, we stand for those who can. for Dance Marathon and I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who showed up and danced their hearts out. This has meant so much to me, especially because of all the dan the joy that dancing brings to my life. It's so great to be able to dance for those who can't because dancing just makes everyone feel confident, it makes everyone feel beautiful, it makes everyone feel loved, happy, and healthy. And I just want to say that it has been such an amazing experience to get to do this for everybody. So for the kids. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charles, and I covered the UW basketball team. Tremendous win in overtime on Wednesday against ASU, and our unfortunate loss against Arizona Wildcats on Saturday. Check it out.
special prizes for people who use Algorithmia's API, and Disney has also sponsored a prize for the creativity in the um, memory of Walt Disney. So, given 100 and 100, 
wraps up today's episode of The Daily's Double Shot. Be sure to tune in to our next episode to check out more awesome content from students' perspectives. And to see additional content and past episodes, feel free to check out our YouTube page or dailyuw.com. And we truly hope you had an amazing Valentine's Day and that tomorrow's Valentine's Day is just as special. And keep an eye out for our next episode, which will include our Campus Couples feature. I'm Alex Bosco. And I'm Starla Simpaco. And this is The Daily's Double Shot. Thanks for watching.